Hi, this is Tanya Peterson with the Anxieties from Anxiety blog on HealthyPlace.com. Today in the United States, it happens to be Thanksgiving. So in the spirit of Thanksgiving, no matter where you live, I decided to talk about gratitude. Now, the beauty of gratitude is this isn't something that is just for Thanksgiving. This is for every single day of the year, and it's for everybody. We hear a lot about gratitude lately and how important it is to our well-being and to our, our perspective and the way we look at the world and look at ourselves. Gratitude is something that shifts our perspective from what is wrong to what is right. And it's great. However, gratitude is not always easy to practice. Don't get me wrong. It's not that we don't have things to be grateful for. People who live with anxiety are well aware that there are things in their lives that they're thankful for. But the problem with anxiety is it takes hold. It gets into our brains and it takes hold of our thoughts and then our emotions and our behaviors. It can restrict our lives and it can make it, it can be so controlling that it, it makes it difficult to break out of that anxious thinking. But if we shift our perspective to something like gratitude, things that we're thankful for, it actually helps. It gets into our brains and makes us realize, oh, okay, there's, there's more to me, there's more to life than this anxiety. But again, it's hard to do because of the way anxiety takes control. One trick for practicing gratitude, one Thanksgiving gift, one whatever day of the year gift I have for you is an idea to help you get that anxiety a little bit loose, get it out of your mind and make room for other things. What I use is what I call a gratitude jar or a life jar. And it looks like this. This happens to look like a giant coffee cup. My kids and I painted this. We wrote life instead of gratitude, just because the idea actually transcends just gratitude toward life. You are being thankful for your life, for things in your life, and choosing to focus on the good, which creates more good in your life. And how this works, how we use it, is I have a box sitting, it sits right in the kitchen, and I have a little index card box little slips of paper are pre-cut and there's a pen right inside and every day all of us come and take a piece of paper write on here some good that has happened in the day something that we're grateful for it helps it's it's concrete rather than just thinking oh yeah i'm grateful for this you write it down and that act of writing itself just helps solidify it and you throw it in here. So there's that, there's that part of it. You're actually actively thinking about something good, something you're grateful for. You're, you're shoving that anxiety out of the way and making room to, to get it out. And also now you've got these right accessible, except for us, it's in the kitchen. And on a day that just isn't going well, that anxiety is at its peak and everything seems awful. You can actually, Pick one out of the jar or more, open it up and read it. And it's a little reminder that, hey, I'm not always anxious or there are things other than anxiety going on in my head. Anxiety is just trying to mask it. So having a gratitude jar, or as we call it, a life jar, is a good way. It's just, it, it's a well, easy, easy-ish way to have a constant reminder that anxiety isn't the only thing in your head and that anxiety isn't ruling your life and you are taking charge of anxiety. So if you'd like to give it a try, see how it works. Thank you for listening and have a great day. See you next time.